Hey everybody, it's Jeff. Welcome to uh, show number, episode number three of 10,000 Steps with Jeff. Today is going to be fun because this actually is one of the uh, one of the most interesting concepts that I picked up out of uh, Gary V's book, Crushing It, and that is we uh, we really need to have passion, and passion I just think is an absolute must when you're an entrepreneur. When you're first starting out, especially in those first couple years that you're in business, you are not going to make money. I don't care who you are or what you do, unless you're in a business that <clears throat> basically you are working for somebody else and you can take all your clients, you're not going to make the money that you were making before. So you have to have something inside of you to keep you going when things are not working and when things get tough and i am completely convinced that the reason that anywhere from four to anywhere from three to four business owners that get into business will be out of business within the first five years is because of passion now what is that well passion first is having that drive to keep yourself going when things are not working, when things get tough. But passion also means you have to find something or you have to get into business doing something that you absolutely love. You have to find a business that you have a passion for because that's what's gonna sustain you when things get tough. I'll give you a really good example for us. Uh, my first summer with T-Works was some of the hardest time I've ever had in my life. Uh, we weren't making very much money. We went into that month, went into the summer months with a bunch of people who had committed with us. And when it came to the summertime, they decided, well, you know, it's a month-to-month -month thing, and I don't really need to be here. I want to be home with my kids and uh, not really work in the office, so I really don't need to be paying you guys at T-Works. Well, that's fine. However, <laughs> I still have to pay rent. I still have to, or I still have expenses, and I don't have an option not to, not to work during the summertime. And some of those folks you know, ended up by the fall going out of business. Well, I think part of it was that they didn't really work very hard during the summertime. But the other part is that they didn't necessarily have a passion for what they do every day. And with not having that passion, it's just easy to decide to do other things when you don't have a boss pushing you, when you don't have something forcing you to do what you want to do and then it becomes just easier to say you know what I really don't want to do this anymore and you go out of business and oh well anyway everybody goes you know four out of five businesses go out of business it's just easier to do so you have to have that passion but that was the hardest summer of my life because I had to figure out how to get rid of expenses. I had to figure out how to generate revenue so that we could keep the doors open for our space. What that forced us to do was to really dig in, figure out where we could reduce expenses, where we could come up with money, and it made us a stronger business going into the fall and it's continued to make us a stronger business as a result of that. But there were actually days during that summer months, I mean, there were days I went home and literally felt like somebody had kicked me in the teeth all day long. There were days that I was just literally emotionally exhausted. There were days that I just felt like there's no way I can come on or that I can go on where Crystal and I, my wife, were fighting about money and fighting about whether we should just shut the space down and be done with it and quit, but we didn't. 
and one of the reasons for that is that I have such a passion for business in our community. I also have such a passion for the fact that, you know, these people who have trusted me to open a space and give them a place to work, I couldn't bet on them. So I just put my head down, pushed harder, and got the ball, you know, got the ball back on the in the court. And we're a much better business as a result of that. You know, and it's getting us to a second space, growth, educational programming that we've been wanting to do. So that's where that passion has to come in. That's where that desire to do your business and grow your business has to come from. So you can't quit if what you do is something you desire so much. It's something that you want so much. That's the only way you can keep going every day. So my chore, or my suggestion for you or my challenge for you is in the comments section, talk about what your passion is. If it's not the business that you're in right now, what's, what is that passion? Where is your heart? Where do you feel like this is what drives me, this is what keeps me up every more, or this keeps me up at night because I want to do it so bad? If that's not your current business, then you got to figure out how to find that somewhere in a business or in something that you're doing. Because if you don't have it, you are going to fail miserably. And it's going to be painful and it's going to be very expensive. So, tell me. What's your passion? Let's start a, a conference. Let's start a conversation about this, and we'll see you here tomorrow.